Hello. Hello! Hi, welcome to the uh, Media Molecule Twitch. Uh, today, myself, uh, Karim, and Francis Hello. are uh, going to uh, uh, be uh, hanging out while Francis rebuilds the World War uh, One inspired level. That's right, yeah. Now, a lot of people have been excited by this level because it's very moody. And you know, Francis is the guy who did SAC boy so yeah well this is like a darker side to yeah well we do a lot of whimsy right so make a make a make a change yeah so right. do something no make a, it's cool we thought as well like uh, to get francis to create that scene in a in in his own pace is 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 it something we haven't focused on in the last uh, uh, presentations we were more excited to show you more things and you can do this and you can do that this time we want to see just like the therapeutic act of just like getting into the zone and making it. So can make a start, Francis, on yeah. uh, your space. Yeah. So we can, we can see you know, we've got I've loaded the scene with our character there in place already. So we set the scale. This is our sort of battle weary soldier, and we'll start by laying out the the, um, the terrain. Yeah. Another oh. time we can do the actual. Uh, the showing the making of a character like that, but this time you focus on the space itself. So, you've, so you got a piece of uh, clump of uh, painterly floor that you've made. You know, one of the things I was thinking actually, why making of scenes that emotional and that kind of gripping is so much. Uh, easier or, or so much uh, lends itself to dream it's because of that type of engine you know when you think about trying to do atmosphere in 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 the traditional pipeline you actually need so much post effects and filters and smoke and uh, color corrections and lighting a lot of things to add up just to get that sort of mood but because dream has this handmade painterly aesthetic just this f piece of floor already has a certain texture to it that has more depth. It's like really the allows you to go to uh, more uh, expressive places. Yeah, it could be quite sort of like loose and unprecious about you know where I place it. I'm, I'm doing it in quite a sort of organic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more about what feels right than dresses you know, lining them all up they're yeah. perfectly flat yeah Co uh, it's, it's that sort of handmade placement of uh, of uh, objects in 3D space is still got to be one of my absolute favorite concepts in dream because uh, uh, you know we have we have many ways of of, of creating in dream and supporting uh, all sorts of uh, different uh, styles but this has got to be my favorite one just the act of placing hand placing over there but yeah. human so how come the first world war was why did you what made you do that like you sort of said at the start we haven't you know we've, we've done a lot of sort of cute things yeah so I just want to sort of test the engine try yeah. to do something a bit more moody. You know, it was November times. So it was it was around the time of armistice, so uh, sort of relevant to the. It's amazing so that just like uh, copying and pasting, placing that one piece, and it's just like getting more and more interesting forms. I love just like these minor uh, changes that you're doing to the composition. What's it? I'm trying to add a a light now. Yeah, Just pick up the edges of she's getting a bit lost. I'm not sure if we've shown them the light settings before. Oh, yeah. that's that's a good one to show. And yeah, Dream, we've got uh, like uh, light tools that you drop in your scene, and you can drop 
as much lights as you want. Not as much, you know, like the engine guys will kill me, but like there is a limit, but a quite a nice one. Changing the strengths of the light and changing the softness and the colors to uh, bring your uh, scene to life, adding much more drama to it. But that's a very theatrical uh, effect when you have. It's good to put it. It's good you put it now so people can see yeah, more. Yeah, pick up the edge of the scene. The scene against the background. Um. Francis is just adjusting the saturation and hue of the uh, of the light. Yeah, that's nice. And then if we need, you can just copy and place another copy of it. And if you expand. Me and Francis have been uh, friends and buddies in art crime for a long, long time now. Like we, I first started working in Lionhead and he was one of the first people I met and we were sitting beside each other, always geeking out because both him and me loved drawing more than anything. And the way I think... Yeah. Well, actually in the love drawing room now, right? Yeah. Just spin the camera around and yeah, yeah, no, it's sort of destroy the rig, but uh, the the drawing for me and Francis is key to everything, and we are uh, we've got similar heroes, always showing uh, each other uh, the, our inspirations and influences, and and uh, you know drawing drawing is not just the craft of drawing; it's a way of seeing the world, and uh, we connect a lot on that front. So ever since we sat, I sat down beside Francis in uh, the first job and we've never moved. It's, we always like, we come in pairs. Francis has to be beside me. Yeah. All the, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, me. no, it's super cool. Like we, we develop a lot of ideas. Uh, we have an ongoing conversation like about what we've done before and what we want to do, how we can push things. Uh, and visually, like we 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 have our own personal uh, dreams that we want to achieve. Like the the fact that dreams, uh, our project is, is, is starting to uh, come come to life. It it actually gets us excited uh, again to uh, uh, bring some of our visual styles. We've got a lot of styles and visuals that we've been wanting to bring to the game world, but it's been very expensive or very ch risky to do them. You know, you, you could have a visual in mind inspired by a David Lynch movie or inspired by a painting you've seen. And in the traditional tools, you know, to take lots of time, lots of money, lots of people to do them. So Dream is very cool because it uh, makes us uh, feel that we can really push out some of the very uh, out there uh, experiments and them to be uh, done in days rather than uh, yeah. a very uh, sort of uh, time consuming. See, you've just like using a very limited uh, number of pieces and you're getting so much uh, out of that. This is in a way the, the, the fun bit, isn't mm -hmm. it? So, I mean, it takes us a the hardest bit is finding the modules and deciding on the blocks that are going to make up you know, the, the, the props that make up the scene. But once you've made them yeah. and you know that they work, then you can just sort of focus on making a cool composition. A cool composition. And you move, like, if you move the camera just to face your guy rather than just to work from another angle, yeah. that's... But I sort of decided at the start that it was going to be... I think it's useful, especially when making compositions, to favor the that. Sort of at least have a, a shot in mind. Uh, just to help me decide what I'm gonna what I'm gonna place. Uh, because I mean it is a, a 3D uh, environment. environment. Oh, here's a tip. <laughs> the one thing that I use all the time, which is um, to repeat the same module into the distance, so large, medium and small. So what we, you can sort of accentuate perspective by repeating the same object into a distance. And you actually... And they actually make them smaller, so 
if you were to just take these objects and sort of stand them next to each other, it'll all be different sizes. But so like a false perspective. A false thing. perspective. Yeah, they do that in theatre a lot. The the they don't obviously have a lot of space, so they exaggerate. Yeah. I'm gonna draw your uh, your dude in his melancholic scene. What I really like as well is uh, do you use the coating tools at all in this uh, scene where you just variate the colors a little bit? Um, I didn't in this one, but so, so it's it's you know, if there's a place for it, you just show it off, it's a very nice uh, thing. But later, maybe in the end. I'm getting through it quite quick, so it might be done in a few minutes. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, the, 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 that would uh, give us a chance to even take it further yeah, than the World better. War. We go World War Two on it. <laughs> <laughs> we just make some... Uh, but I... Uh, I think that would be a good chance if we, if you, if you take it to the place that people have seen, and then uh, the engine is so beautiful. Like uh, every time I see how the light is hitting the the floor, I like the blues, you know, and it is, it's a slightly blue. Oh, you want to match the sky? I was trying to match the sky. Yes, ah. I make it look like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you okay. want me to like sunset? That is cool. Actually. It's a sunset or sunrise. Amazing. Maybe it's the afterlife. Ah, oh, the guy is dead. <laughs> that is, you know what we should do? Like after you take it to the first world war scene, and in its full glory, and then we can start putting sort of like ethereal things, like clouds and and angels and stuff. <laughs> like so, to, to be, I I, li I quite yeah. like the sort of after the, to make it more of a dreamy. You know, see see how we can dreamify yeah, can if we that. have time. Let's see how it goes. What are these? These are those um, what's it, uh, anti tank? Oh, yeah. metal things. Yeah. Again, you know, just like so small, <laughs> medium one, another large one. I've put an entire career on this. It's, That's just one technique. <laughs> <laughs> Literally three. No three, more. yeah, three's the magic. I'm much more excessive, me. I'm like sort of. Tech. If I don't put something a hundred times, it doesn't <laughs> feel right. Like your um, your your Photoshop files. Yeah. At least ten thousand. This is like for me, like quantity matters. Uh, yeah. I think as well because you come from an animation background, you are used to this one angle, serving the the drama and story. Yeah. Um, and I'm, because I'm architectural, I've, I've, the whole 3D space is equal to me. Yeah. Like I, I don't favor any view. It's all, it all needs to be uh, served. So I keep turning. Like my, I turn all the time when I'm working. It's a different, uh, but more yeah. storytelling kind of games and uh, the point of view is getting more and more cinematic. Depends on the experience. Quite like his uh, hat, his helmet hat. Good proportion. Yeah, it's quite a fun level of stylization. And can you put a, a, a light just behind those uh, these things? These things just to pick them up. Copy this one. That would look like. A that's quite theatric. Sometimes in in nature, these kind of things don't happen. But in a, in a movies, you can dim it a bit. In movies, they do all sorts of things like that. When you know you're in a night scene and there's like many blue lights hitting the actors, it just picks up your uh, shapes more. I'm just. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Just so as well, it will help people see what you're doing. Better, 
Yeah, you can get more more of them. Okay. Yeah. Bigger on the side, like almost as if there's like a ruined f- French village on there. I'm seeing more now, I'm getting ambitious, you're too fast. We need ruins, ruins and a church. No church, no, sorry. People will, uh, uh, ruins of a... I've got, it's not buildings. What do you what have? What do I have actually, let's see. I, I like ruins. Ruins a sort of Magnolia style, you know, like uh, if you find like some old. Do we have any meshes like that? Do you think? I don't know. We can do a, a text search or something. But if you find like something nice, like a wooden. Uh, Let's put the poppies in. Ah, oh, the poppies, yeah, and some trees. Do what you like. I'm just. You know that these uh, tank stopper things, there's some of them in Guildford here, just beside, just a bit of an info. What's, what's happening in Guildford? No, no, the, the, that was like back from the war <laughs> time, just memorabilia, a bit of history for you. And they, they, they thought that they were here just to, in case the uh, enemy troops would make it to Guildford. They leave all the UK and come to Guildford. <laughs> to make a pretty game company. It's like this. There's so many game companies in Guildford now, it's like the Silicon Valley of the UK. I like uh, the, the terrain going Can up. Continue. Or not. Yeah, yeah, continue that. And I'm totally seeing some village. Make it happen, Francis. Really happen with the pressure. Just a little silhouette, even, even just if you go and sculpt. Or you just find, make a search for like a village or house or something. So, you know, or you know, like in, in in one of your old zombie things, you had like a house in the end. Uh, but keep going, keep yeah. going, in as you are. I was going to do a smoke, right? Just oh just yeah, just yeah, it's just smoke. Yeah. People were asking uh, how how do we do particles and smoke. We have our wonderful Mark Adami doing a whole breed of brushes in Dream that behave in different ways. So brushes that you can use to make hair or smoke or clothes and they sway in the wind and they move uh, in, in, in fun animated ways. And this is one of our very first ones of those, but there will be a library of them that you use to bring life to your scene. So you've picked a stroke here. Yeah. Well, that's not so I'm, I'm plotting the, uh, the, path. The, the, yeah, the path, the direction, the path that we're sort of supposed to travel in. Ooh. Something like that. Yeah. Um, do a few of them maybe. Right. Oh, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So it's thicker. One of the things that really bothered me in the past about particle systems is how difficult they are to use. You know, just like you'd have to be a, a sort of neurosurgeon, IQ, NASA expert. <laughs> it's impossible to understand. This one, you draw a stroke and then you, you animate. It and then, yeah, it goes to particle animation and then I set them. So it's set to be static, then I'll make it a constant. So Start you just moving. made them move now? Yeah. I can set the speed. It's a bit slower. A big plumes of smoke in the distance. Super cool. Um, unfortunately, you can't see them until you, until you play. But you can copy that uh, element that you've done and place it by hand yeah. wherever you want.
this copying uh, clone tool is so powerful. So we use it to do all sorts of things like, uh, and it has so much hidden fe depth to it. When you when you use it, when you have the ar grid on, you can do very nice architectural formations. And Anton has been adding uh, new exciting uh, things where you can do radial uh, formations or uh, 45 degrees uh, using uh, copies. So you can copy multiple uh, things. It's very uh, very powerful. You totally need like one of the smoke ones so in the foreground. You really want to see it. I honestly really see it. Really it. Yeah, it's actually it's different to the smoke in the, the original. Feature, feature. request. <laughs> we can, can play use it and have a quick look. We can use the Twitches to make feature requests to our programmers. <laughs> and they just like have no choice. Mmm, <laughs> 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 this is a good thing. Ah, so now you can see it in move. Yeah, but still you get the you idea, get the sense, yeah. you get the sense. Maybe you fill up this uh, side of the level with... Uh, do we have more time? Yeah, uh, time, yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. I did it way too quickly. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yeah. Please. People are asking if if they've played LVP in the past and, and made levels within LVP, yeah. how easy will, will moving on to Dreams be? Very easy. In fact, Mark, our creative uh, director, and he's like one of the main people designing a lot of the gadgets and the LBP uh, and the Dream gameplay features with Dave and with uh, Liam. And the, the, the one of the things he says all the time is our, our uh, LBP uh, language is our, the basis of our uh, design. So every, anybody who was fluent in LBP will be at home in Dream and will find very similar uh, metaphors and analogies that were used in LBP, like the gadgets, for example. But Dream is only uh, easier, in a way, because while Little Big Planet was a fantastic tool set that allowed you to make your games uh, quite fluently and uh, people uh, did some terrific results. Dream adds on top of that the ability to make your own 3D graphical style and uh, statement uh, much more unique to your personality and style much more than LBP. LBP, you'd have to work very hard to not look like LBP in it. But in Dream, even though we have our sort of like thumbprint, uh, the making your own unique styles and making your own unique tones, like the, that but more serious scene that Francis is making, uh, as opposed to a beautifully appealing and cute uh, graphical style, they both can be done uh, uh, much more fluently and easily in Dream. So, LBP people will be completely uh, uh, familiar with a lot of the, the 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 style of design, especially when it comes to bringing gameplay to these worlds. I love it when you start putting upright things, you know, in the scene, because it just like may gives it, gives it. Uh, you know what we need? We need a light over there as well. Okay. Yeah, to just give it to give it more three Dness, and you can pick up. Is that tree cool here? Yeah. Okay. I want so I want much more ruins. <laughs> you really want me to put the ruins? I'm so dying for the ruins. Because I know if you get like a nice cluster, you know who has good ruins? Uh, maybe John Beach. Is uh, uh, make ruins. Yeah, they might be a bit more industrial. Yeah. Or you can use the corrugated uh, thing just to do it. another <laughs> bunker style. Like there's another bunker here that. I'm drawing that scene basically like that Francis is doing. 
So we can give the give give the camera a preview. Preview. Ooh. Preview. It's dream better as as my. <laughs> I always. No, no. Dream is actually ridiculously fast now. I like even when I'm doing uh, in the past, you know, to do mood boards, to design our content and to design our different characters and worlds. I used to gather a lot of pictures and drawings and concepts and things to show people like what we're thinking. Now, most of these mood boards are made in dream because it's the fastest way to uh, actually uh, mock up an idea. It's really uh, concept art fast. The dream is to get all our features like even the animation and the gameplay making, the music making, all to maintain that sketchiness, yet have that kind of quality that Francis is demonstrating. Like, it's not fast and poor, or it's not fast and just, uh, you know, there is a term white boxing in, in video games, which is associated to uh, an environment that hasn't been uh, flavored or art past or animation past or story past whatever you name it and what I love about what Francis is doing right in front of us is that that's not a white box of a scene that is a scene that is a scene as imagined in his head and what we're seeing is that that's a very important it's like a, a musician when they play uh, their song on a guitar you know, even though you could produce it with more production values, but you can get a very good picture of what the vision is. And of course, like once uh, our music and our uh, in audio tools are going, we're going to show them off at some point in the future. You know, bringing these things to life will be uh, much more moody. As soon as you hear stuff and as soon as you he hear characters talking and interacting and hear the ambience, it just changes your feeling completely. It's looking amazing. You know what you need? Do you have barbed wire? Oh, let's draw, yeah, we can draw some of those. Do some barbed wire. Uh, okay, let's put the posts. I went and saw uh, the, because J Julie, my uh, partner, is from uh, uh, Brittany, so we went to visit some of the World War II monumental uh, sites and uh, Normandy Beach and all that. Oh. So epic, amazing. We have some of this stuff still remaining. The using the strokes. Oh yeah. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> the the thing is, me and Francis have the same sort of like art. Ar artists need to be children, basically, like in order to empty all the brain to focus on the uh, the shapes and, and stuff. <laughs> you know, we we forget everything else. So sometimes freeze in front of folders or something like we're just looking for <laughs> the right file we're not very good in naming things as well all my uh, all my objects are called untitled one of the things i love about dream and alex and and dave have pioneered really in in in, in the engine wow. and server is how most of the w all the work done in dream is already on the system so you don't need to upload and and uh, sort of put on the uh, on the cloud and think a lot about your local and global because I the amount of things I lost in my life just because I know you know you're doing the barbed wire now yeah I'm trying to could you make enemies in this scene like could you make sort of baddies or you know other, other Inter characters? interaction we we eventually we will be able to drop in another uh, biped like the one in the scene 
that has behavior uh, uh, on it, and that behavior could be like in the sackbots in Little Big Planet. It could be to come towards you, to run from you, to be dangerous, to be friendly. But today we're not showing this because we don't have it yet. Yeah. You know, but we are uh, we are working on it. Now we have the ability to make those characters and uh, move around with them in a space and uh, navigate the environments, platform in an environment. But to control their behavior is still st uh, work that we intend on having, but we don't have. So yes, we will be able to do that in the future, but not today. But you can drop in if if you drop in another character in the scene, Francis, will it uh, crash or will it work? Uh, well, yeah, we have put um, more characters in. This wouldn't be. Um, they want to sort of fight them or anything. Yeah, they want to stuff. AI. But we can we can explore the scene with other characters basically at the moment. We, our first step was bringing life to the characters. Uh, that's kind of like more. Mm. It's not quite bad, boy. No, you want more, s like more s those guys. Yeah. And you know what? You want those sort of not like that kind of. Yeah. Um, you want them to get those. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Black, Francis, black. Yeah, they are black, but they're, they're, they're shiny. They're shiny. They're light. So we need to make them. Uh, yeah, I'm Chinese on that. For some reason, that particular menu always exits. I forget where it is. One of the things that is very, very time, uh, you know, a, la a proper labor of love in the development of Dream is that in making scenes the way Francis is making them, our UI uh, uh, designers will come and interview each and every one of us about what it felt like. Because, you know, it's very hard to judge tools if you just demo it for five minutes, you need to work with it for hours and hours and hours and kind of go like, ah, oh, in hour 20, I realized that aspect of this tool was actually really good to have it that way because uh, there are things that only sheer quantity can make you find out how, how to use them and why it's done in that way. And sometimes we discover that actually we want to favor we, co we, we keep saying like we want Dream to be a very flowing tool, you know, allows you to do change sizes of things and change colors of them and go to another thing and change it without feeling that you're spending most of your life in front of a menu. But the hard part that we faced was like di pe different people have different preferences in their flow. Yeah. So we're trying to find ways of making Dream amazing tool, but uh, still has room in it for different people's styles of working and priorities. More that line? Oh, I would love it, love it. What else can you put in that scene that completely... Uh, Should I put the bear in there? The bear? The, 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 in, the, in, the, in the red. I, I really think like now, now that you've taken that scene to the world, like it's wonderful that we can get a space like that within the time you've done it, Francis. And just to go even further, like, you know, now we have a bit of time, you know, like in the horizon over there, we can just make a, 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 a new idea, like a landmark, like get some skulls or something now, and we twist that scene. So we make like a gray skull type thing, like get 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 the skull and make a fortress. Like Should actually search for a skull? Huh? Actually search for a skull. Yeah, I think men lose skull is amazing. It's like, you know, the oh. death, the war. So you can put the skull and then put some splats around it as if like, you know, this is a, or the poppies as well. Poppies on the skulls. I think we made it so unpublished levels. Ah, oh, you can't find it? So what else, what, what's likely to be published and um, searchable. What about, or what else can we put in that scene? Do we have like tank, a tank or some vehicles? 
buried aeroplanes, like it's sorts of ruins of aeroplanes. All difficult things. Yeah. That's. I bet I can do it like in two minutes. Well, sculpt one. <laughs> Should we try and make something? Make something? Yeah, yeah, make something actually. Like now that we've done what we wanted to yeah, do, let's try and ruin we it. can ruin it in <laughs> without in without shame. Um, Just a nice silhouette of like sort of. A tank or a, ru a ruin. A ni I'm thinking either see what you feel you prefer between those things like a vehicle, like a tank. <laughs> or uh, uh, a ruined uh, wall bit that you can use to make. Uh, I like the ruins, man. Ruin. Yeah, go ruins. People are saying fire. Fire. <laughs> okay, you can actually make another one. Let's put a light underneath the smoke. Yeah, and you can use some red strokes, uh, orange strokes, like you know. I haven't got lots of practice with that. Have a go. Yeah, let's have a red red stroke. Marcus just checked in uh, a new feature that allows the strokes to have secondary motions and that will really be very nice uh, for uh, creating effects like fire. But at the moment the 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 using the this type of animation this type of animation is basically moving the particles on their the the direction of the in which they were drawn. But the other ways of movement that we're getting is more like swaying movements. They would be better for fire. But you just make a red one of those. Or orange, orange. And you know what? You can move recorder, the light, shake the light a bit. Yeah, I won't see that until we play it though. Ah. But try it though. Try it, see if it works. Just little movement, if you grab the light after you draw the strokes and animate them. I have a good feeling about that. It's like sheer winging. The worst frames in the world. <laughs> winging is the meaning of life. Just, just FYI. Animate. See, drawing is so Which much is easier, huh? That's so awesome, huh? There's a bunch of different um, particle animation settings here, so... Yeah, I just see flick do. through... Oh, wow! Yikes. That turns it into, like... This is what happens when you don't plan. Yeah, I like it, though. Yeah. Whoa, what? That is amazing. <laughs> Around so camera. I like the one before was okay. crazy. <laughs> that is like so you want flames? <laughs> I'll give you flames, baby. Look at that. I love mm -hmm. it. That we don't even know, like Francis and myself, like we haven't even played with those tools yet properly. But it's uh, it's so cool. They've just gone in literally like yesterday. This is uh, controlling the amount. So Ma Francis did one stroke, and this is choosing how many copies yeah, of it. speed. Wow. I think there are some cool uses for it. This is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, but this is like when you want to make tadpoles in the sea or something. Flying. But like, I, there was a point where it looked quite fiery. But, you know, leave it now, I think. I think that's what we've got left. You know? At least they, <laughs> you token know, fire we tried. The and the, uh, the uh, y if you can... Uh, Place place some more characters as well in that space as. I can only search for. I'm, I'm not sure if many of them are published. Ah, of uh, course. One of yours. Do you have one of yours? Your. Shout if anything jumps out. Yeah, like I like. Bear. Your mech, your amazing red mech. Where is it? I saw its arm. Just its arm. Or the red uh, character from uh, Paris demo. Yeah. yeah. Too much of that. You bored of that one?
And give me, I've got inspiration. You carry on growing, and I will uh, destroy the seed. head. Huh? <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah, here. Oh, no, 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 no. You got it? I think it's here. Oh, someone said they want to propose to their boyfriend through dreams. Wow! <laughs> cool! Do it! The we better finish it quick, right? Yeah, no, the, the, we'll, we'll, we'll get it for you in time, we <laughs> promise. No. The, uh, the, the good thing about. Uh, we even in Little Big Planet, I remember there was a, a marriage it's proposal level. That was so cute, but uh, Dream is definitely the place to do that. You can put that one with the floor bit. <laughs> yeah. There's all sorts of other bits attached. Uh, no. Um. No, uh, you know, saying that actually really inspires me. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about Dream, and of course, we're focusing on games and wanting Dream to be the ultimate forum and place for making. A different expressive type of uh, games and different genres but the the a lot of people will use the audio visual expressiveness of it to do little vignettes little stories little postcards commemorating uh, anniversaries sending uh, digital sort of like installation about an event and uh, expressing themselves in in, in uh, using the, the 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 dream language i i'm i'm very excited to see proposal levels and uh, social commentary sometimes you just keep browsing and you get ideas yeah half the stuff's not here let me see your scene and i'm going to make an uh, an epic I, i'm feeling something on this side Wizard, no, show, show yeah. me this. Time to destroy. <laughs> okay, you can Kareem, take over. Take over. You can draw more on this picture. Said Francis Kareem. It's finished. I can't touch it. No, no, you can't draw it because it'll make it even more. Yeah. Price. No, the the nice thing I I actually like extending on Francis's point of uh, just using the same pieces and how you you just can keep until you get an idea you can always just keep on uh, using what's there so just like take this corrugated fence thing and just work with it i think that's one of the nicest uh, thing it reminds me of oil paint you know sometimes you don't have an idea and you're just messing with the medium itself Till something happens, you know, it's just like something quite nice about thinking while doing something. When you're too, when you're too conscious, the creative ideas disappear. What are you gonna do? I'm just like taking the formation of this stuff. I always like. A bit of a, a bit bunker. Yeah, it's a bit of a bunker. Like the ones they win saving Private Ryan. I thought that was World War Two. Do we have the tools to do that at the moment, Francis? No, that's, that's still debug. Coming it's soon. It's still, it, it is still possible. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will know. You have. Uh, you will have a whole heap of uh, skies to pick from, and more exciting things that you can uh, select. Mm. In the same spirit of Little Big Planet backgrounds, but uh, you know, still in progress. Then behind the bunker, who lurks behind those? Uh, who, Jenny? Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who knows? And of course, you can use the jaw shock. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You don't have to no, not entirely. The, we just like uh, lazy. So we're used to sometimes uh, playing with certain tools, and different people have uh, acquired uh, different techniques. I found the skull, and nothing will ever be <laughs> the same. You make a skull. Menlu. Uh, Menlu. Put him up here, Dan. Go on. Dan as well made a very nice, uh, made a nice skull. Or you can do like just the. And we will have weather eventually. Is that right? Yeah, we'll do that with the, the, the particles. That ah, nice. Yeah. Do one of the one of the settings for. Mm. And the because the I'm feeling the skull is too white, it's standing out too much. We have these tools here which uh, allow us to tint it so I can just go over it and if it works it will I'm tinting it darkening it I think you want to pick C let's uh, see I thought it was D the dark no no Francis wrong <laughs> this one this play, play yeah there we go placeholder uh, Yes, I love this tool because this allows you. Sometimes you find something in the in the uh, libraries and you really love it, but it's in the wrong tone or the wrong color, and you can just add variation even to the grass over here, like this grass module that Francis was using. You can just give it a a, a, a little brown. So I just hold this one. No, oh, that's too much. So take it back. Between. It's too little now. Oh, it's not working. I always like to uh, add some variety to that because that's something very undigital. Not make the not no, obviously not make it red. <laughs> That needs to be tuned a bit, doesn't it? It's very easy to uh, make it uh, completely red. Yeah, yeah. So this is the kind of relationship between the art and the tool design that we keep doing for you guys. So by the time you get Dream, it will be all very tuned. You know, we, we take an idea like changing the color but we keep saying oh no it's changing too fast it's changing too slow it's changing that stuff is the things that we uh, are in the process now of ironing out and getting to its absolute singing level so I'm, I'm, I'm the the thing Francis was talking about where sort of favors one scene and makes the composition and then I sort of go around complementing that effort just making sure that when you turn around as well you get interesting spaces like for example just like having and you can really uh, make that space close it up very fast you just take one item like a rock where is that obviously when you're like Big thing about dreams is remixing. Yeah. Like taking other people's stuff. People are asking like, how will, like, will you know the original artist be credited? Like, you know, everyone will people be able to see who originally made things? Or absolutely. Yeah. The the whole uh, genealogy of dream and uh, the story of an asset can be tracked. Mm. So if you if 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 Francis has made an eye that is used in another character and then someone else uses that character that has Francis's eye and the other person's character in another place the, the you can at any point if you track 
the level and look at it and want to find out more about this level, you can find out uh, all the people who are involved in bringing it to life and uh, making the, the work. So definitely the credit, even if your contribution is quite a small uh, element, you will still be still credited and remembered. In, uh, well, that's what's happening even within the office, right? I know that you, that some of the elements we're using here, like the, the, the that tree and those sandbags, all built by different people in the office. Which, you know, if, um, I've stolen tons and tons of assets. Yeah, the whole the beauty of Dream is that remixing uh, thing. Like well, I'm, we just you go, you find different uh, elements that other people have made. But in the way you use it is very, very uh, different. Wha one person can use, especially the brush stroke. Of course, if, if you've made a, a, a very well uh, 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 embellished sort of like 50s vehicle or something, that that's what it is. But a lot of dream has uh, shapes and forms and strokes like those things that I'm finding. Someone could use them as hair, someone else would use them as a cloud, someone else would use them as a piece of uh, character design. So the, especially for those more uh, uh, painterly elements, you, you, you definitely uh, get a lot of remixing out of them. Just made it bigger. Okay, and so. To start finishing up. Oh, it's very. Uh, you know. We are. Uh, I just uh, basically took Francis's work and expanded it, but it's just showing how you don't really need much more than that when you when you're working. You find that uh, until you come up with. A new element to throw in the in the mix. You can just keep using the elements you have, and getting interesting silhouettes out of that. Have you added any? Ah, oh, look who you put. Ah, oh, that. Why not? <laughs> why not? Indeed. Okay. So, do we have? Francis put in his drawing like, you know, the old and the new. So he put like the, we've got the World War picture and then he's put like our old like sack boy and Ayuta. So we need Looking to... Sort of green and uh, moody. And yeah, the mo moody and the whimsy sides yes. of media molecule. Well, we're giving that away yeah. as well. well no. Let's see if we can make it. Can we make it? Do you have a sack boy here? I think Steve did one. Oh. Yes, there is a spot. Let's see, sec. Just waiting, sorry. Mm, no. Is there a limit to how many things you can put in a drink? Like on LBP with the thermometer. Absolutely. There's always limits, but the uh, range of usage is so different. Someone could use all their uh, graphical uh, capacity for one sculpture and someone else can spend it all on gameplay and the interactions and so you, 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 it's, it's very hard to uh, 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 come up with a finite you can put this number because it's all in the uses and the cases. But like every uh, engine you can give the illusion that your world is limitless by connecting and, and linking and surfing between a space, but the next space happened to look very similar to the space before, giving the feeling of uh, 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 vastness. So I think uh, you, can, you can definitely get the feeling of like a very, very big space in Dream. Well, within, within one of our levels, it's crazy how much, like one of those assets, if you're making it using a polygonal system, it will just max it out straight away. Remember when we were first starting uh, on the project and we were taking some of the 
assets created in dream and uh, rendering them in off the shelf uh, engines to further our concepting and uh, it, they, they couldn't take it like the the the, the sophistication the detail on these uh, forms uh, is 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 very hard to translate uh, and or very expensive to translate in the polygonal world. So yeah, you, it's it's quite generous is the answer really. You're going to like gray skull. <laughs> wow. I love that skull. I tell you, it's just really my one of my men. Lu, we should tuck it into the. Where's the flames? You're not feeling the fact that it's killed the flames. I like that about the smoke. Okay. We showed the, the smoke of flames just to yeah. show a glimpse of how these Sorry are. It's all about, about the scum. Okay, let's get the lights. Sorry. That's good. It's a dream. It's a dream. That's what happens nightmare. in dreams. Yeah, a nightmare. And you know, just to make send them back a bit, we've got fog uh, and stuff, but I just want to tuck them into one of the... Make the eyes glowing. Oh, yeah. Nice suggestion. That'll probably be the last thing we do. Yeah, we're do that, Francis. Right. Because I don't uh, the the to to make things glow. I think we've got several ways. One of them is using the illumination brushes. I don't know where it lives. It's a couple of spheres. Ah, good. It's like Mike Magnola style. To blow them big time. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Not more coats. G for glow. By the way, whenever you see alphabets in our menu, these are all temporary placeholder things. We love because we we, we 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 like showing. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> cool, actually, I like it. I think it's done. <laughs> frame it. Frame it now. Yeah. Even more, 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 more point low. of view. More low. Yeah. Yeah, like Let's that. Play. <laughs> <Lens. Lens. laughs> nice. Every opportunity. Yeah, I can't. Th th that spotlight just like move it away, please. Oh, this so, one. Yeah, just thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. That's a perfect screenshot. Masterpiece. <laughs> Our next game: <laughs> World War One, Skeletor. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Uh, we, we'll be back uh, next week, Thursday at five pm. Here's the picture. Yeah, let's finish on the picture. We will be giving that away on Twitter, so be sure to follow us at Media Molecule, and we'll be tweeting that out very soon. Thank you, Kareem and Francis. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. See you guys.